While coal mining communities in eastern Queensland and New South Wales could be worse off under a shift to net zero, experts say central Australia would enjoy a critical minerals mining boom. A key Australian mining company which has inked a rare earths deal with the Pentagon says the United States is pushing hard to move manufacturing and mining away from China. Australia appears in the midst of a new gold rush. This time it's for critical minerals that help build modern technology and are vital in a transition toward a low emission future. They would include uh, minerals like or elements like lithium, uh, rare earth elements, so they're the lanthanides, and uh, nickel, cobalt and graphite. Rare earths help make computers, electric vehicles and wind turbines. Lithium, cobalt, nickel, vanadium and graphite are used in batteries. Even the production of green hydrogen requires critical minerals to source the renewable energy. Demand is expected to rise over the next few decades. We have amazing assets in terms of the, the metal endowment in the ground and the potential to discover more. Investment in critical minerals mining and processing has languished in the West for a number of years as China secured a strategic stranglehold over the industry. The fact that the world has such a heavy reliance on um, materials coming out from China is not healthy for industry as a whole. Linus Rare Earths has recently inked a deal with the Pentagon to build a rare earths processing plant in the United States. CEO Amanda Lacar says there is a push from the US government to grow the country's manufacturing capability spearheaded by the Department of Defence. After many years of uh, promising much, the rare earths market is certainly delivering in spades right now. As prices of critical minerals now skyrocket, new mining explorers are entering the space. Australian rare earths managed to uncover a new rare earth deposit near the SA Vic border. Certainly over the next decade I would see, I would see uh, two or three additional rare earth deposits coming into uh, production. Carl Spandler from the Australian Minerals Research Centre says Central Australia will be a big winner in the next mining boom, with hubs likely to form in areas that have access to renewable energy and water. In many cases we're going to be looking at, at Central Australia as, as being the real place where the critical mineral supply will come from. Certainly South Australia, uh, NT, but Western Australia in a big way. There's a lot of opportunity in Western Australia, uh, Western Queensland, Western New South Wales. But there is hope for mining communities on the East Coast if critical minerals can be found in old mining waste. The rush for these critical minerals and the prices they bring has prompted a range of miners and academics to head back to abandoned mine sites in the hopes of renewed riches. Researchers from the University of Adelaide and Charles Darwin University are using advanced new technologies to search these sites. Machine learning and AI are being used to find critical minerals left behind by old miners before they realised how valuable they would become. Everything we're learning there is helping us improve the footprint of the future while remediating the footprint of the past. It's hoped innovation and research will help Australia compete with low-cost mines in countries like China. To get to net zero, mining is going to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Joel Phillips, Sky News, Adelaide.